Hello guys, and before we actually start weekend, there is another idea. This is Victor with you and welcome to the forexboat.com live trading ideas. What we have is idea on the US dollar versus Canadian dollar. This is quite interesting trade setup, but before we start always, I would like to remind you that all the information in this video is just for educational purpose only, should never be considered as a financial advice. Probably let's go through very quickly what happened today on our previous ideas. A long-term euro GBP still holding. Swiss franc Japanese yen retraced back, but still expecting the downtrend. New Zealand versus Canadian dollar rising steadily, still expecting target to be reached. Canadian Japanese yen. Uh, this is an idea that we might have soon. Uh, euro versus GBP. This is another idea that we had today actually with a sell signal around this price area. So uh, it's moving towards the target. Probably we will reach it on Monday morning or Tuesday. And we will move now to our original idea for the dollar versus Canadian, uh, Canadian dollar. What we have is the average trend line. Uh, this is not just a simple trend, but it shows the average price. What we see is that price did bounce off this trend line. What we expect is the price to go upwards. Why? First of all, there is a Fibonacci retracement level applied to the last wave to the upside. This is a daily chart. And if we go to the forward chart, you will see it more clearly. OK, so this was the last wave to the upside from there. And you could see that bearish candle on the daily chart. So we have used actually this low instead of this because this was the original low. It's it's not probably precise. So here we go. OK, so do we use this point up until this point? This this low hasn't been broken. This high hasn't been broken. So we use these two points. Now back to the daily chart. We have this idea on it. Uh, the Fibonacci on. So first of all, is this 88 0.6 Fibonacci support level has been rejected. It has been rejected twice, providing a double bottom on the daily chart. Now I've applied the 50% Fibs as well here, and we can see that at this point we have a strong resistance. What it means that on the daily chart we have range trading going on without any clarity on the direction. There is no signs that it's a bearish or bullish trend. And this is the reason why we can expect price to retest the resistance once again at 50% FIPS. Moving on to the four hour chart. Now here is clearly a triangle pattern. We have double bottom. We have uh, price moving down, rejecting the downtrend trend line. And yet again, we can expect price to reject the trend line once again. I have put uh, previous resistance from the daily chart. Just this is the level 41.12. Another interesting point is the breakout price uh, of the 200 simple moving average. This is actually acting as a support right now. And I do love the way the price action is now. We have produced the low, but then failed to close below. So actually, it looks a very good for buying opportunities, uh, opportunity, especially since this is a very nice range trading, which is still going on. So short term trade idea, although if you look at the lower time frame, it, it's not that small. It's actually 180, uh, almost 190 pips move, which is quite substantial. So the idea is to go for the long position at this price, approximately at the same price where it is now, 38.23. In order to achieve risk reward two to one, our stop loss would need to be at approximately 138.26 level. So in this case, risk reward two to one, and we're aiming for 41.12 uh, approximately. Now the final time frame would be 15 minutes. On the 15 minute chart, we have a descending channel where price managed to break and close above. It on, not only it broke above the channel, but it broke above the previously established high. And now the bullish, bullish confirmation here, and 
what we used, guys, is this Fibonacci retracement level to this correction down after the breakout of the channel. What we see is that we have another FIBS. I will just remove it slightly so we can see. We had originally 61.8 FIBS, okay, here at 41.12, and now we have another 368.8 FIBS. So this is a very good target level for this pair with a very actually good potential in terms of price movement, 180, 190 pips, which seems to be very good. Now I move on to the five minute chart. Here is another Fibonacci applied. We, we see the 50% retracement is being rejected, okay, along with the channel trend line. Back to the 15 minute chart, what we have is the bullish divergence on the RCI oscillator. While, while the price continues to move lower and lower, oscillator is moving higher and higher. So this is another reason to believe that this could be quite a fast upside move. Perhaps it will start early Monday after the market will open. Within one or two hours, there should be a perfect entry opportunity. At the same time, stop loss is not that far away, so it's it's um, it's suggested to use low risk here, but it seems to be like a very interesting short term trade. Well, short term, but it, it has a good move here of 180 pips potential. So that's it, guys. The last idea for today. We will meet back on Monday with yet another idea, potentially again on Canadian dollar. Also, probably I have to mention that. We had New Zealand Canadian dollar still expecting this move, okay? And this means that Canadian dollar is getting weak. This was our initial idea, so it's still valid and it corresponds to our uh, dollar Canadian trade setup. So, yeah, the Canadian dollar seems to be getting weak, probably across multiple pairs and for the long term, but we have a quite a short here rally expected within basically a couple of days i hope maybe it will take a week but we will see okay guys thanks for watching don't forget to put the like subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on monday very soon so stay safe stay healthy and profits to everyone